Hi there, welcome to our series of short videos. We call them Bottled Up Wisdom. And the wisdom today, don't focus on what your problem drinker won't do. Mm. Focus on the things you can do. Focusing on your inability to change his or her habits will leave you feeling helpless and disempowered. Changing the way you do things will automatically begin to change your situation for good. Yeah. Now this, in a nutshell, is the secret of empowerment. Yeah. Yeah. If you focus on what you can't do, then you feel disempowered. If you focus on what you can do, then you feel empowered. I mean, very simplistic, but that's but it's also true. Mm. You know. Um, I remember a, a, a long time ago, um, I kept hearing this saying, and I have no idea who said it initially, but it's, it's better to light a candle than curse the dark, which is along these sort of lines. Mm. It's, yeah, you can do something, you know. Um, very often you're in a situation where you can do something. Um, it, it doesn't always matter what it is, it's just something. Something, you know. Mm. Um, in uh, Bottled Up, one of the things that we've talked about, we've talked about it on a regular basis, is the dance. Mm. You know, that at this moment in time, the drinker is leading the dance, you know. And you have to start and change that. Mm. And even if it's only sort of deciding you're not getting up for that particular dance, for that particular tune, then it's something. Mm. And it's well known and well um, said, that if you focus on something all the time, it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. And people come to this website, the reason they're here yeah. um, is because they feel powerless to stop the situation that yeah. they're in. And yeah. they come often thinking that we will perhaps be the one people that will have the secret weapon that will immediately stop them from drinking. Mm -hmm. um, and we really understand that. And the whole program starts with stop looking at your drinker. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a, uh, a, a saying kind of based on that whole principle yeah. is yeah. look at the steps that you can take exactly yeah yeah uh, and I think that's really important um, also it gives you hope oh, exactly yeah rather than looking at hopelessness yeah okay what do you think might be the barriers to doing this because again it always makes it sound so simple I think the barriers to doing this for a start is habit mm. you know this is the way you've always done it and this is the way we continue to do it I mean what you can say is about human beings is that they are, you know, we, we talk a lot about change, but we don't really want change mm. very much, you know. Mm. Uh, we want other people to change, we want the world to change, but me, no, I, I, I don't want to change, you know. Yeah. And I think that's that, that's something, I mean, I, 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 change was my specialist subject because that's what I did for my PhD, and I used to teach a course on change, and I always started with the same thing, you know. Um, hands up who woke up this morning and thought, I'm bored, I'm going to change my life. And I'm still waiting for somebody to stick their hand up, you know, because that's not why we change. We change because of crisis. Yeah. That's generally why we change, you know. But So we get into a, a, a mindset that, you know, we can't or don't want to change, you know. We don't need to change. It's that he needs to change, she needs to change, the world needs to change, my boss needs to change. I don't need to change. Mm. And well, detachment also changes perspective. Now, yeah. um, if you stood outside uh, the house that we used to live in in Exeter um, and just kept walking uh, and got to the point where you were just literally up against uh, the house at the, at the front, you would say, I'm in front of a brick wall. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that was the truth. But if you step back from that brick wall, as you look back, then you think, oh no, it's not a brick wall, it's a wall with a door and windows, and so suddenly you see completely different things, you mm -hmm. know. And that's the equivalent. If you over-focus on your drinker, in the end, all you can see is the mm -hmm. hopelessness of yeah. his life. So as you walk back, then you see a door to change, and you see windows that you can look through into a different perspective. So mm -hmm. be aware of that. You need to stop looking, come back, see the big picture, mm -hmm. you know. But also, if you're looking at the program, you're finding keys to open locked doors. And again, please listen to the program because um, I have to say, living with a drinker, some of the things we share took me very um, many mm. painful, bloody years. That's not a swear word, but just really mm -hmm. awful years to figure out that some basic things that work in every other way in a loving relationship don't work with a drinker. And that is crucial. Yeah. So again, 
look at what you can do. And it does change the dynamic, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. mean, look at what's going on just now in the world. You know, we're in the middle of this pandemic. Well, hopefully we're towards the end of this pandemic. But people were locked down. How are you going to actually uh, communicate with each other? And this is, you know, people who have never touched Zoom before, yeah, Skype yeah. before, you know, are, on, are becoming experts at it now. Yeah. You know, um, how are we going to get fed? You know, they're delivering it to the door. You've, you know, your supermarket is delivering the food to the... So we're we never finding did that before, did we? And now no, we're contemplating never done. perhaps doing it all yeah. the time. And, and, and we're finding different ways of doing things. Lou's analogy of being up against a brick wall, not really brick wall, stop at some stage, you can actually walk around it. Mm. You know, and, they, they, and it's actually starting to recognise that there are other things I can do, you know? Um, yeah. So just even a simple thing, if you feel you're up against a brick wall, stop yeah. and think walls are not endless. You can get round yeah. a wall. If it's part of a house, then there's other parts yeah. of that house which I can engage yeah. with that are not just going to stop me yeah. from going forward. One of the things that stops people um, doing stuff is that they feel that it's the other person that needs to change all the time. Yes, yeah, true. And as a family member, you probably think, well, why should I change? Mm -hmm. He or she's got the problem, you know, uh, but that's a... It's, it's an unfortunate way that uh, addiction is actually regarded today. He or she's got the problem. Yeah, they have. But it's a problem for everybody. It's yeah. a problem for the whole family. Yeah, well, we get contaminated by that yeah. problem, don't we? And, 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 and that's why we have to sit and go, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, this is a problem for me as well. You know, so it's, you're part of that problem. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying you're problematic, but you're part of that problem. And therefore looking at other ways of handling things. Yeah. And helps. use your anger healthily at that point. Yeah. I think for you to get angry, say, I will not let... Yeah. My partner or my child's drinking behaviour manipulate my well-being in life anymore. Use that anger mm -hmm. because that sort of anger to just say I'm yeah. going to not do this is a very powerful uh, energy. Yes. You yeah. know, so again, use that anger to bring about change, mm -hmm. not destruction. Yeah, yeah. We're on to other things now, but um, yeah, but I mean, there are things that you can do. Yeah, okay. but if you're focused on that's the only solution. And a lot of people who come to our website think the only solution is for him or her to stop drinking. End of story. Mm -hmm. What we try to do is say, well, actually, it's not the solution you're looking for, but there are other solutions here. Yeah. Good. So I hope that's helpful. Again, comment back if you want to. We'd love to hear um, yeah. how this enters your world and what you think. Um, thank you for listening. Okay. Talk to you again soon. Bye.